already. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Lucas. I come from VEDOS, which, uh, I guess, if you see the acronym, we do not actually DOS. We protect about the DOS uh, attacks. Yeah, but uh, I'm here to uh, take you on a little journey. In five minutes, I'm going to tell you what the future of the internet looks like without DDoS attacks. It's obviously impossible, so I will unfortunately have to worry more about the uh, boring stuff. So I will tell you a little bit about the basics of the internet, and that's the domain name system. Obviously, uh, it's something that you will be familiar with, as uh, this is a very technical audience, and unfortunately, I usually deliver presentations to the sales guys, so I will not be able to tell you everything in the greatest detail, but the uh, important thing that needs to be said about this is if there is uh, an endpoint that can be attacked, if the surface area of the attack, if there is something to attack, it's only a matter of time until it, it's going to die. This is what happens with the DNS. It's a very, very old protocol that uh, is kind of hard to protect, uh, there exists like DNSSEC to do it, but uh, still the protection is restricted and limited to one geographical location if you have only one uh, DNS server. So uh, this causes like delays in performance, it's a problem, you can get uh, congested the, the, the route and simply put, it's just a matter of time or resources until the endpoint dies. This is what happens when you have just a unicast IP address. What you can do to combat it is use the Anycast solution, right? Instead of having just one server, which uh, you have to fetch the information from every time, you can build yourself a network uh, around the globe which, uh, and use like a caching DNS uh, uh, resolver. And uh, that like, greatly reduces the uh, potential of it being dead. Because if you use the BGP routing, you can always uh, safely sleep because your... Uh, DNS servers will be able to uh, answer the traffic from the closest geographical point available. You can uh, take it as a, a surefire way of uh, making sure that your website will always, always be available. This is uh, one of the simplest solutions for such problem. It's nothing complicated, it's no rocket physics, but it works. That's the biggest, that's the biggest part. So uh, you do have some basic threats then uh, when it comes to uh, website security. You have, uh, of course, like just some normal visitors trying to access the end server. You have attacking bots, attackers, you have uh, crawlers, you have indexing bots, everything. And you need to kind of uh, make sure that you can filter this out because uh, unless you have a way to put the filters yourself, you need to uh, make sure that it's protected somehow. So uh, by uh, using some Anycast DNS solution, you can ensure the integrity and availability of your website everywhere and the safety of your origin server. This is how it might look like around the globe. Oh, I do not have the correct... Uh... Yeah, imagine there's a world map there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, you can see that the, the connectivity and the latency is very, very low uh, all around the globe. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, the outline of, the, of the, the map got lost. So this comes with a little story of uh, how we ended up with uh, trying to challenge uh, certain uh, companies in building such a vast and uh, global network of servers uh, for uh, the Anycast, DNS, and WAF. Uh, we did it because we had a lot of trouble ourselves and we were under many uh, attacks and we figured out that the only way is to make a solution yourself. So uh, we were in 2022 uh, under the biggest attacks that ever happened in the history of Czech Republic when it comes to the amount of bandwidth. So uh, yeah, for us this was only the logical step that we had to make to ensure uh, availability to uh, everybody when it comes to the internet. So once you already have this uh, network set up, there's basically limitless possibilities of what you can run on it. Uh, we do run the Anica, fast Anycast DNS server uh, with uh, fast response, uh, with DNSX support, obviously, all routed through BGP, which is a very stupid routing model, but uh, simple and efficient, and it works. Uh, obviously, protection, uh, then there's the reverse proxy that uh, we can put uh, rules to, to ensure uh, stability and ensure only the valid traffic enters the end server. We can hide the end IP address because we only uh, propagate the public IP, ad uh, the IP addresses publicly, the ones that are on the, on the proxies. And uh, yeah, uh, possible to balance uh, uh, load balancing, IPv4 to IPv6 proxy, blah, blah, blah. And in the future, uh, there's endless possibilities of what we can do with it. So 
five minutes have concluded now. Thank you so much. And if you have some questions, you can come talk to our booth that way. Thank you. Thank you.